Okay, so Travis Scott, the latest news, basically, the Travis Scott's like the news sacrifice. People thought he was sacrificing people at AstroFez, but honestly, he is Hollywood and the government's newest, or maybe not even the government, but just in general, like all the corporations sacrifice. Everybody's just ganging up on him so that they can enter the woke crowd, right? So Travis Scott will no longer be performing at Coachella 2022 after petition to remove him from the lineup gained 60,000 signatures. How many tickets does Coachella even, Coachella attendance per year? I swear to God, if this is like, okay, 2019, 99,000 people on each day. Oh shit. How is that even? Coachella makes racks, bro. I was about to say like 60,000, like a bunch of people who probably aren't even going to Coachella sign that. I have tickets to Coachella, but I never got a notice to sign anything. So I can't imagine it was a people from Coachella. It was probably just one of those like petition.org things. But I just feel bad for Travis at this point. Like he, they did the same thing to the baby a few months ago when he made the homophobic remarks and then he learned from it. But like, when is Travis Scott gonna be able to kind of move past this? It ain't fair, but at the same time, I guess the whole Live Nation and Astro World, the people who set it up were negligent and allowing that many people. But if Coachella, you know, can have 99,000 people per day, but then again, that's very similar to the numbers of Astro World per day, but Coachella has multiple stages. So I think the issue was just having one stage. So in the future, if Travis Scott ever has another Astro World Festival, which is very unlikely at this point, um, then I guess my, my recommendation would be to have multiple stages, bruh. Spread out the people so there's less chances of people getting trampled, you know? Every Cactus Jack project stuck right now except Don Tolliver because he dropped like a... Yeah, yeah. Don Tolliver is so lucky that he dropped before Astro Fest. Honestly, Sofago should have dropped before as well. I don't, I don't care about the promo or whatever, but if he dropped Pink Hearts, like... That's honestly the risk that you risk. That, bleh, that is the risk that you take on when you keep delaying your album because something can always go wrong with like the media and how news and internet works nowadays. Like that's the that's exactly what can happen. And so I, maybe they've learned their lesson of not to hold it, just drop the music. When's the last time Sofago dropped the album? Like end of 2019, I wanna say, with Off The Map or whatever the album was called that had Off The Map in it. So Fago now dropping 2024, damn bro. I wouldn't even be surprised if So Fago like dipped out because it's just bad publicity. He might be able to work something out with the contracts, a loophole being like, well, you know, you substantially hurt my brand by my association with Cactus Jack. I don't think he's actually gonna do that, but I'm just saying I would not be all too surprised if that happened. So Fago signed yeah, so Fago signed it to Cactus Jack. He has been. But yeah, pray for Travis Scott, I guess. He's too rich though. It doesn't even really matter. Like at Travis Scott's level, I think he's dropped enough classic albums, classic music. Uh his brand is so big with like the Nike collabs. Like he is the ultimate hype beast of rappers the last few years. So I think that if he were to stop dropping entirely for the rest of his career, I think his, his career is still solidified. He would still be a GOAT at this point. Would y'all agree with that? Is, is Travis Scott technically a GOAT? Like 10 years from now, are we gonna look back at Travis Scott and be like, damn, that dude was a GOAT? Because I feel like similar to T-Pain, even though T-Pain started the whole auto-tune wave in rap, I feel like, or, or just in hip hop in general, Travis Scott kind of put like distortion to the auto-tune as well. And so, um, 
yeah, he progressed that kind of sound. So I, I feel like Travis Scott will be remembered. When Travis died, people are gonna cry. Yeah, definitely. Plus Travis, he also kind of started like the whole, we well, didn't start it, but I mean like in uh, recent hip hop, he like brought back cult like followings. You know, I feel like Drake was big, Lil Wayne was big, but the fan bases weren't so tight knit like Uzi, Cardi, Travis, uh, even the underground now is like the underground fan bases are super, super tight. And I feel like Travis was like a part of, I don't know, cultivating that. Soldier Boy did it first. Nobody gives a fuck about Soldier Boy, okay? I'm tired of Soldier Boy saying he did everything first. He's gonna get this dick first if he don't shut the fuck up. And he got booted off Twitch too, I think. He was there at the first Rolling Loud too in 2015. You talking about Soldier Boy? Soldier Boy fell off first, exactly. It's not about the money though. People drop music because they want to and because they love it. If you stop dropping music because of something like Azure Fest, it's probably gonna get depressed and shit. That is true. Especially if we saw the interview, it's not like Travis Scott got the best, I don't know, speaking skills or, or conversational skills. And what are you talking about stop cap we didn't know travis till astroworld honestly i didn't even like astroworld that much i felt like it was super like super mainstream birds in the trap yeah birds in the trap sing mcknight that was my favorite trap the travis album every single song i had that album on repeat for a long time uh days before rodeo and then rodeo they were all right they were very experimental but my lane like where travis hit my taste of music was birds in the trap travis has to wait until the whole internet yet yeah, until someone else that's exactly what it is when the internet and the media has got someone else to cancel that has a equal or maybe even like a little bit less severity but given astrofest was a while ago like in the future if, if six months from now the whole narrative behind astrofest will die down a little bit although it will still be bad people will hate on travis scott but if there's something that like trumps the attention over that that's when travis scott will be free because the internet just always hates on like a couple people at one time it's got to be someone in hip-hop too though or like in the music industry pop culture like it's got to be like a baby type event with the homophobic remarks when he dropped in utopia you're supposed to drop it next year you're supposed to drop like dystopia which i think were the two songs he dropped escape plan and mafia and then next year he was going to drop utopia as like the counterpart to dystopia uh but now now it ain't coming anytime soon, I don't think. I wouldn't even be surprised if um, Sofago drops before Utopia now. Because because Sofago is kind of still protected. Like, he's his own thing. It's like not really his. F I don't even know if he performed at Astro World. Did he? Did, did, did Sofago perform at Astro World? I like Escape Plan. That was a really good song. Uzi's gonna be the next punching bag. They're gonna try and cancel him. I think Uzi's kind of like uncancelable. Or he's he's uncancelable to a degree. Now Travis Scott got canceled because it was like people actually died. But I think if Travis Scott like said the uh, F word for uh, a derogatory term for homosexual people, like Uzi did on uh, Aiden's stream. Like, I don't think he would get canceled. So I think Travis Scott is somewhat uncancelable as well, especially given the fact that his streams have gone up since the whole tragedy. So it's not really affecting his career money-wise or streaming-wise. Do I like Travis Scott? Of course I like Travis Scott.